I actually prefer natural indigo as opposed to synthetic indigo, and here's why you should too. I mean, let's just get right into it. Synthetic indigo is a combination of a whole bunch of chemicals. It's all man-made, none of it's real, it's all bullshit. But it is the most widely used indigo dye that is available in pretty much any gene, whether it's Japanese, American, wherever it comes from, whether it's made in Italy, it's all around. Everybody's using synthetic red cast indigo because of how it dies down, because of how it wears, and everybody wants a high contrast fade. It's also cheaper to produce and less time consuming to make. And it's also a lot easier to control. Now what I mean by that is that it's easier to get a real even dye job on the jeans, which is, you know, if you're Celine or YSL or whatever, you want a really clean jean, you're gonna use synthetic indigo. But with natural indigo, the first and foremost thing that I love the most is that natural indigo actually starts off green. And the reason why this dye actually turns blue is because it oxidizes as it's dipped into the vat and then brought up and let to breathe and then is dipped in again and then is brought up and let to breathe. And this process is repeated over and over and over until you have all these layers of indigo on top of each other, which is what's gonna give you that real deep indigo color without being too dark. And it's also gonna make for a much more interesting jean and something with a little bit of a green cast on top of it. And the reason why that's important is because as the jean is gonna fade down, you're gonna get that real beautiful green cast, that real vintage fade. You might not get super high contrasting fades, but they will contrast and they will look beautiful. They're also going to be some of the most unique jeans that you ever own because no two pairs are really the same. The consistencies are different, the oxidization is different, the feel is different, the luster or shine, the hand. Speaking of luster, natural indigo dye does not necessarily mean that you're going to have a shiny denim, but chances are brands who are spending money on getting this dye are going to use a better, more long staple yarn, smoother cotton. You're not gonna buy a cheap ass cotton and then dye it with the most expensive indigo dye known to man. So chances are when you're buying natural indigo dye jeans, you're getting a really quality pair of jeans. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out my green cast versus red cast denim, you'll see why I prefer green cast over red cast and why I think it makes for a much more exciting jean. So make sure to go check that out after this video. But stick around because we're not done. A lot of us are slub heads. Everybody loves slub and all of us denim heads are looking for something with gradation in color, um, a real uneven weave. Well, natural indigo dye is going to give you just that. Natural indigo doesn't dye evenly. It's just really, really difficult to capture that look. But honestly, that's the beauty of buying natural indigo dye jeans. The slub is uneven, the yarn dye is uneven, the texture is uneven but you still couple that with this really nice luster that you're gonna get from the high quality cotton. And you're gonna have this pair of jeans that is gonna last you forever. It has a unique fading capability. It has a really unique start, so you're not always waiting for the fade, but you can enjoy the jean as you wear it. And that green is going to really make for very interesting outfits. Plus, for those of you Japanese denim heads, it's more traditional. But most of all, the most important thing is that natural indigo dye is eco-sustainable. It cuts down so much on waste, it doesn't hurt the environment. In fact, you can actually use the water that's used for dyeing of jeans and use it for irrigation. So if you're looking for a pair of jeans that's not so tough on the environment, shop natural indigo. I mean, these days, I think I have more natural indigo jeans than I have synthetic. I mean, some of my favorite jeans include the so-so natural indigos, they have just such a beautiful greenish blue color that I really love to wear and I'm not really waiting on the fade. I can feel just as good about it as is, as opposed to just waiting and trying to break it in on purpose. Or my sugarcane Hawaii wash jeans. They're dyed with natural indigo, they're 50% cotton and 50% sugarcane fibers, and they're made with a one wash, so they have that really, really beautiful gradation in blues. And the construction and the feel is just immaculate after you break it in.